Hey everybody. I'm just going to do a quick tear down of the solar animated flower that I picked up today. It's one of those uh, things you put in your window and the sun hits it. You know, one of these and then it wiggles back and forth. I've never seen inside of one. Uh, I'm sure it's nothing all that amazing or revolutionary, but you know, I want to see the inside. So you'll get to see it too. Comes in nice little uh, packaging. Four dollars. So, looking over it, uh, there really wasn't a way to get inside without splitting the case open. So, we'll get in here. Little putty knife. There we go. Got that side and that side. That makes sense. That way you can change of colors, I guess, in the factory. And these, let's see. Yeah, actually these are injection molded, not bad quality really. The whole thing feels like it's, you know, built okay for, you know, for $4. So let's see what we have in here. All right, that's kind of neat. I wondered how they did that and that makes a lot of sense. It, uh, it's using a coil see right there the copper coil and they're energizing that and there's a magnet just a uh, not even a neodymium just a you know ceramic type magnet and um, they pulse that coil and that pushes and pulls the magnet across it like that and the, the two leaves are mechanically connected up there they have a little pin and then the flower in the middle I am thinking that has a magnet in it because I see a screw or a rivet is that a rivet or no nope, that's a screw so that's holding something I don't know if there's a magnet just a piece of metal it doesn't it's not grabbing the screw I don't know we'll see if we open that up and that is all driven by this fancy little circuit board there's a some cellophane tape over it all and just a chip on board with the uh, voice coil wire which I actually I don't know where that came from did I pull that off interesting anyway got the solar panels going down to there you got a capacitor to boost the signal to the coil in the center and uh, yeah oh I did yeah I broke it off there uh, no big deal anyway uh, let's see how much voltage that uh, panels put now it's not real sunny out right now Just in here, getting a volt, so that must be a volt and a half panel. Point it towards the light a little more. I'm getting a good solid one volt. That's oh, pretty good. Put on the capacitor. I wonder if that capacitor, yeah, capacitor is right across the uh, input from the solar panel. That's pretty good. See, it's taken part further this stuff is no not glued it is just pushed together so just a little bit of a wiggle you know what they say you uh, you wiggle it just a little bit and then it'll pop loose up oh, a little more come on something's There we go. All right, and I did uh, break those wires off, but I can solder those back on. They're really thin. Those are really thin wires. That's a big coil. I guess you need it with the low, 
low voltage and current, you need something to help out. So then here, any more identifying marks? Not really. Get that rest of that other wire off. Let's see, that's a 470 mic at 10 volt. 10 volts is a little, uh, well, I guess it's about as low as you're going to go on something like that. And that bracket comes off, holds the solar panel in place, and now the electronics are out. So there's the solar panel with the capacitor and the chip on board. And the board is marked HT. 111A1, and then it has HM inside a circle. And it looks like that chip just switches, yeah, it just switches that coil to, to the negative. It's uh, sharing a common positive. So one wire goes to the coil, goes in the coil, charges it up, builds up that magnetic field. And then when the uh, cob tells it to, I guess it's pulsing a timer of some sort, and then it grounds that end and then causes the uh, field to collapse and that gets that moving. So I'm still curious what what this is about. Now I guess it could just be, uh, I forget what the technical term is, but I'm going to say sympathetic motion where you move something next to something and it causes it to move. Larry's coming to help. So, I don't know. But let's see, let's pop this apart. What do I have to do? Oh, the back side has to come off. There we go. Take that out. Now the mechanics just fall out. There we are. So, we'll set that here. just uh, injection molded I don't know I'm guessing ABS and then here's the one with the magnet that's uh, that's rough looking I don't know if y'all can see that if I can really focus a little better not really and it yeah, it is not very strong. Not very strong at all. I'll bet you could make these move a lot better if you replace that with a neodymium. And then this. This, I don't know why that has a screw in it, unless the screw is the, the metal. in the area. Well, let's see. Let's pop that screw out and see if there's anything else inside. Or if the screw just goes in the plastic and that's it. So it's kind of what it looks like. I don't think that opens up. So that's it. So the screw is attracted by the magnet as it swings by, and that induces just enough motion to allow the weight of the bottom to swing. That's, uh, that's kind of neat. So, there you go. Here's the uh, rest of the pieces. Line them all up. And that's what's inside one of those uh, solar animated flower thingies. Thanks for watching.